So you get a new bag from the pack, close the lid, make sure to keep the lid closed. And if you lift key, up the key. handle, it locks the lid as well. And that, that's the key information. Make sure you don't leave this open because that's where flies and vinegar flies can get in and become a problem. So as Alex did, do that lock when you're finished and that seals it down. It'll prevent any kind of vermin getting a sniff and wanting to come over. That's right. All right, so if you decide to use a bigger container, if you have a bigger bin like that one, you might think, how am I gonna do without the bags? There are options in the market. This one, it's a 36 liter bin liner. And has it got the compostable certificate? Yes. Yes, so yes, it's good to go. What about this one here? It says plant-based. Do you think that one is good? You gotta, you gotta read between the lines because what is portrayed and what is actual are two different things. Because if it's just biodegradable, that means it breaks up. It doesn't actually break down. It breaks up into smaller pieces. So it's not, it's not uh, available as an option. So when you work that out, you say, okay, that can't go in FOGO. If you needed it for something else, that's fine. But in this case, that one doesn't work. And then this one, so you've got to read the lines and say, yes, it could say I'm earth friendly, but it's non-compostable. This one, on the other hand, says compostable. Boom. So that one's okay. This one is biodegradable, which is not okay for FOGO, because then that can't go into the big compost at the, at the large composting facility. So that's the main thing you need to do.